13 love. Anticipation there. Well, we know how good his offensive game is, but showing us here 15. that he can also play good defense. Just taking a little too long there. Next time I'll lose the use of his first serve. 14, 15. He flinched, but he didn't miss a beat. Amazing, really. It's coming up uh, about 24 minutes since the Dahl last won a game. Doesn't that very often, does it? That's the point hole too. And of course, he's willing to serve out the set, and uh, if he's successful, at least Nadal will have the opportunity of serving first in the third. It's a good example, that last point, of uh, Nadal doing his homework on Burdick. He knows he likes to pass cross-court, so as soon as Burdick was about to hit the pass, he just held his ground, gave him the line, and of course, then it became a simple volley. He's just doing a good job there of outmaneuvering Burdick. Still, look at all the spin on the ball, though. So that's what we call it, aggressive hitting. But it's so safe for Nadal to do that when he hits with that much spin on the ball. 3,900 revs on those final forehands. Outstanding. Fifteen, thirty. 
Thirty-one. having a look at where he thinks that ball bounced. But, uh, no challenge. So 40, 30. Double figures now as far as aces are concerned. And just a point away from taking us into a deciding set. Possibly waited any longer. Uh, a millisecond, and uh, Mohammed wouldn't have allowed him to charge. <laughs> That's definitely in, wasn't it? He knew he was going to lose the point anyway, so he figured, well, I may as well just have a challenge just in case yes. it was out. Yeah, I was happy for a malfunction there. Mr. Yeah. Berdis has two challenges from him. Another chance to wrap up the set. Game and second set. A really good set of tennis there, especially when you consider what happened in the first sets. And that poor service.